Yeah, let me tell you first that a demonstration is going on right now behind me outside the ICE detention facility in York County. Protesters here are members of an immigration advocacy group supporting the rights of detainees, and they've been complaining about conditions inside the building behind me. Well, things are about to change because in a little over a month, the immigration facility will close. The county has decided not to renew its lease with the federal government. The county says ICE wanted changes that were not cost effective for taxpayers. At the end of the day, it was a decision based on budgetary and fiscal. You know, we had to look at it again from the taxpayer lens. And did this make sense to do from a fiscal standpoint? And it didn't. Last year, the county received $18 million from the federal government, but at the same time, the county also paid out a lot of money for food, medical costs, and other services here at the ICE facility in your county. The changes are scheduled to take place on August 12th. In your county, at Weinstock, WGAL News 8.